Hey, Rick. Yes, a litany of numbers, and I'll try to go slowly here. Factory orders for November expected up around 2.5% to up 2.6%. You have to go way back. You have to go back to Jan of 21 to find a bigger number. I call that three years. That's, that's pretty good. But once you strip out transportation, you can see where all the horsepower came from. It dropped from 262 up one-tenth, which is still better than the down one-tenth of a percent we expected. And if you look at durable goods, now these are final numbers, final numbers. So you, you're going to look for less movement. 5.4 remains at 5.4. That's the uh, best since July of 2020, by the way. And if we look at durable good orders, uh, X transportation, we can see what happens there. It drops to four tenths. Once again, same dynamic. Uh, transportation aircraft really kicking in there. Uh, up four tenths isn't bad, though. That's the best level going back uh, actually uh, to May, to May of last year. Now let's look at capital goods orders, non-defense, X transportation, a proxy for capital spending. It remains up eight tenths. And shipments, down two-tenths, that's one-tenth worse than our mid-month read, which was down one-tenth. Now, let's go to those ISM services. The headline index, 50.6. That is indeed a miss, 50.6. We're looking for a number to be at 52.5. That was expected at 52.7 in the rearview mirror. Prices paid, 57.4, pretty close to expectations. Lower than 58.3 in the rearview mirror. That's a good thing. If we look at employment, which we just had that report today, of course, 43.3, 43.3, uh, that is a big miss. And, of course, that goes into contraction territory. 43.3, way back machine. Weakest since July of 2020. And finally, new orders, expected to be around 56 is a miss, but still in expansion territory at 52.8. So three of the four are in expansion. We had some disappointments, but the big disappointment seemed to have been December employment read. Uh, we see that interest rates have backed off on those data points. We moved from basically 404 uh, right down to, uh, what, 398 now, folks. We're under 4%, and do keep in mind uh, that we've seen Big jumps on the week in terms of yield, Sarah. But, of course, as we dip below 4%, we're going to take some of that back. Back to you.